Hi everyone, in today's video it's going to be a little bit different because today I'm going to show you how I photograph my art with my smartphone. So the first things that you're going to need are a smartphone, I have the iPhone XR but I don't think it really matters which type you have and I think most smartphones have a similar feature depending on the brand. So I also have two lamps on my studio, I'm not really sure if you can see, there's two up here. So these are just LED lamps. I'll link a like link to them in the description below. I got them off Amazon. Two LED lamps. I use these for drawing as well and paintings and it just gives me kind of a natural daylight look so I know which colours I'm going to use. And it definitely helps when photographing my art. Really quickly, I do not photograph my finished pieces with my iPhone. I only finish photograph my work in progress photos with my phone. I do find the quality is very different so I just wanted to kind of put out a little disclaimer there um, but yeah if you don't have like a smart camera or whatever and you just have your phone this method works fine too. Okay so I'm just going to get right into it and show you how I do it. Okay so just bringing up the like camera option on my phone I'll try and get like a screen recording as well because obviously it doesn't show quite as nicely through the webcam as it does in real life. So as you can see I'm just going to take a quick photo now. And I don't know if you can tell but the colours are very different and it's not the same as what I see in real life. It's obviously not going to pick up quite as well on the camera but it does in real life. I can definitely see a difference there. So the first thing I do is take a colourful sheet. This is what I use, so it's just a colour chart with all the colours that I have on it. Again, I use this in all my artwork. If you don't have anything like this, a colourful object like a Rubik's Cube or coloured pencils, just a load of them so you get a nice broad spectrum of colours. Take your phone again and just hold it in front. Hold the screen until you get that autofocus. And then you can remove it. And the colours should look quite similar. Now this is very dark, I don't know if you can tell. So I'm going to do, oh, it's just slide my finger up and down. So hopefully you can see there's a little sun now there. That's just popping up and that's changing the brightness without changing the focus that we've just made. So that's about kind of what it looks like in real life. I'm going to press. And I'll try and insert pictures of it on there. But hopefully you can see it's very different to what we had before. So now I'm going to, I'm quite happy with that, I'm going to edit it and I'll try and insert a little clip of me ha editing this photo right here. Okay, so this is how it looks before I edit the photo and I'm looking at my painting in real life as I do this so I'm just going to start off and we'll edit the colours. So I'm going to scroll across, I'm quite happy with how the lighting looks, it's very nice and bright. The contrast is fine, so I'm just going to try and edit the colours. So yeah, I'm going to try and change the saturation of the piece ever so slightly. And also the tint. So we're just going for a little bit of a warmer tint to match real life. And now I've edited that, I think some of the darks could be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to darken those up. And just kind of play around. So you can see like the extreme versions of both until it matches what it looks like in real life. So I don't know if I've made this clear before but I'm not editing to kind of change the image. I'm just editing it to make it look like it does in real life. I'm not trying to improve on the photo or anything at this point. I just want it to look like how it does in real life. I'm just going to crop the piece down so I can get a good look at it. Okie doke. And then I'll go back to edit in. So a problem that I found with this iPhone in particular is it makes everything kind of a little bit too sharp and it doesn't blend everything together like it does in real life. It makes it look very grainy and too textured whereas in real life it's really nice and smooth and blended. So to kind of fix that I go all the way across to noise reduction. It's just one across from the last. And then if I scroll it all the way across you can see how it's very blurry. So I just want to kind of meet it somewhere in the middle so it smooths everything out nice so there's no nice and texture but it's not blurry you can still see the details 
Okay, and I'll press done. So that's the difference between before and after. There is a big difference there, hopefully that you can see. Um, yeah, that's just how it, how I edit and photograph my artwork on my phone. Again, I just use this for work in progress photos, but if this is all you have and this is how you take your photos, then please feel free to use this method. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and all that. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.